morning everyone. I hope you're all well. Uh, Rich and I and Grey are in a car again. We actually just spent the weekend in Suffolk but today we are going to Cambridge for the day which we thought would be a really lovely thing to do. Rich has the week off work and we're trying to do some nice things throughout the week. Um, I think I have been to Cambridge but probably not for years and also I feel like when we do things with Grey it's like doing it for the first time again like I just love showing her new places and new things to do so it's going to be such a lovely day and my parents are joining us it's going to be so nice the reason we're actually going like we're going to have a lovely day in Cambridge but the first thing I'm going to be doing today is going to see a lovely lady called Alex Cameron you guys might have heard of her she's a photographer I worked with her on a charity shoot once um, she does gorgeous gorgeous portraits and she actually offered to take some photos for me which I'm over the moon about this actually came on off the back of me talking about how photographers and Photoshop like editor people always edit out molds whether it's on a website when you're buying clothes or in a magazine I think it's just easier for them to just remove all the blemishes on a body um, and therefore you know people like me and younger girls growing up all they see are women with absolutely nothing on their skin no moles on their back or anything which makes you feel like what you've got is ugly and wrong and that's just obviously not the case like so many people I think it was like 80% of you on my Instagram poll said that you have moles on your body so she was like I'd love to do a shoot with you and you can embrace your moles so the like content creator part of me is like oh my god yes let's do this let's empower young women to be proud of their moles um so i'm 100 percent going to take her up on the offer but then also i've got like the me side of things and i'm like crazy insecure about moles on my back um you know they're not like pretty beauty spots they're not the ones that we are made to think are pretty so I'm very nervous about it I'm just not like a nakedy person I'm not somebody who gets my skin out I wear swimming costumes on the beach also side note like I'm probably the least confident I've ever been in terms of my like body and my style just like after having a baby I know it's been a while now but I haven't I don't I haven't got back to my usual self but also I don't think I will like I'm still finding this new version of me so it's a funny time to be doing a shoot like this but I feel a responsibility to do it and I think hopefully it'll be really empowering for me and I won't feel massively insecure and I'll feel great afterwards and I'll love the photos that's the aim she said also she might be able to take some photos of me and Grey together which would be really cute and it would just be lovely to see her I think it's gonna be a really fun thing to do so we're heading to hers first and then we're gonna have a really nice day in Cambridge it was a bit of a slow well actually it wasn't a slow start we were kind of like rushing around trying to get packed and ready and then Grey got stung by a wasp her first ever sting which is so sad I think she was outside in the garden and playing with her water table and she we didn't see what happened she either like either there was a wasp like hidden under a leaf or maybe she tried to pick it up because she's very curious um and she was literally like pointing up at the sky and like her little finger she was so upset poor thing but dummy saved the day and we watched a bit of tv and i think she's feeling much better now she's having a little nap in the back and yeah it's, i guess it's good to know if, if she gets stung like now at least we know if she's allergic or not um, but she's so little to get stung, it was really sad. So we're on our way up now and I will vlog the rest of the day for you guys. I'm here at Alex's, I forgot to tell you. Look, this is like the infamous background. So cool. Um, me and Grey are just dressing up in our, in our little dresses. You can kind of see her here. Oh my God, we have never ever done like a shoot with Grey or anything and she is such a little pro model. She loved it, she was standing there by herself just like posing. At one point she turned her back and then went, it's <laughs> so funny. Um, I've just been wearing this and other stories dress and now Rich is going to change grey and play with her whilst we get some shots of just me. Eek, scared. I don't know what I'm going to be wearing. Uh, maybe I'll set up a tripod and film it. I just literally bought a whole suitcase of stuff. An ocean, a cave. A dream that no one could save A shelter A whole act A light that died with the night You and I We got our differences Yet I thought we were Grace picked an egg not picked an egg, 
Oh my god, I'm such a city guy. I just said Gray yeah. picked an egg. Picked an egg? No, what did you do? You collected an egg from the... Blah, blah. Did you? Cluck, cluck. <laughs> cluck, cluck. Thanks, Hi. Alex. <laughs> You're welcome. Rich, show us what you've found from Alex's garden. You've got a pear. Yeah. Some and eggs. And four eggs. I mean, this is like perfect oh. entertainment. Oh, yeah. Are you? <laughs> okay, we've parked in central Cambridge. We're going to go find a park to give Grey her lunch. And then we've ordered, we pre-ordered sticks and sushi because we knew we wouldn't be able to go in and have lunch anywhere, both because of COVID and also because Grey will be asleep over lunchtime. So we've got sticks and sushi takeaway. I was so excited they had it here. I haven't had it for eight and we're gonna sit in a park while she's sleeping and eat lunch. Grey's got couscous with tomato sauce and broccoli for her lunch. The houses here are all so pretty. First thing we're doing is picking up our sticks and sushi lunch. We found the water, this is where we're gonna come and sit and eat some lunch. This is what I got from sticks and sushi. Oh my gosh, look at that, yum. Rich, have you got the same as me? Mm-hmm. How is it? Oh, so good. So exactly good. What I wanted. This one with the little, it's the Hell's Kitchen with the barbecue sauce on the top and the tuna sashimi, and then it's got deep fried prawns inside. So good. I've had to tie my hair up because it's hot. I think now we're on our way to hunt down a good coffee. I walked past this shop, I never know how to pronounce it. I've got my mask on and I saw this t shirt in the window. And I thought that looks really nice, so I'm just gonna try that on. This is what it looks like on. I like it, but I don't think it's worth 60. Success, we have a sleeping baby. We bought the Bugaboo Fox with us today. We usually use the yo-yo, but this is better for sleeping in. So we bought this. Um, yeah, she's happily asleep in there. And we're walking along the river. We decided not to go punting today because uh, they only had a four o'clock slot and also it takes 45 minutes. I'm, I think Grey would sit on it for like 20 minutes, half an hour, but I think 45 minutes is pushing it with a toddler. Um, so we've just been walking around, it's so nice. We're now just getting some juice from the market. I want a watermelon juice. Look at this, watermelon juice. Lots of you messaged on Instagram saying go to Jack's Gelato, so Rich is queuing now while I play with Grey. We're gonna get an ice cream before we head home. Someone's a fan of Jack's gelato. Got a spare cone and she's sharing my vanilla. Mmm. It's got to that time of day where she's had to go on the shoulders. It's about four o'clock and we're now heading back because it takes about an hour and she has dinner at like five, so I don't know. She's never really done a journey like this awake actually an hour's not too bad so i'm hoping that she'll be entertained with some toys back there and snacks but what a lovely day that was so nice okay i'm home and rich is just giving gray dinner downstairs and i've got to get on with some work because today was actually meant to be a work day but like i said i could be more flexible this week because rich is off so i'm just gonna do some work that i've got to do and send over to my managers but yeah we had such a lovely day it was just nice to like get out of London for the day. Not escape London. I've decided I hate when people say, like if they move out of London, they're like, I've escaped London. I just think it's mean on people who call London their home. It makes it seem like a horrible place that you want to escape. Anyway, got out of London for the day just to see somewhere new and different. And it was so lovely. And Alex's home was just, oh, oh my God, it was just beautiful. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'll share the photos hopefully on Instagram. I'm nervous about it. Like she just said a preview and I'm like, the photos are gorgeous. She's the most unbelievable photographer, but it's definitely gonna be a process for me to look at myself and, and think, wow, that looks amazing. Because like most of us, it, that's quite uncommon to feel that way. So um, yeah, it's gonna be, an interesting journey, but I'm gonna love the photos of Grey. I know I am because she's 100% gorgeous. All right, I'll speak to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.